This video shows the uh, grid splitter in Universal Windows uh, app. So <clears throat> that's what you see here. It's a, we have a window and inside the window you have this uh, uh, splitter <coughs> where behind there there is a grid and you see the text is wrapping around there and I had some problems that I, I will ex explain all problems now for you. So the uh, this stuff is one part of the um, Microsoft Toolkit Universal Platform UI Controls. Um, if uh, if you want to know how to install that, you go there to. Uh, this is a free contr free contr controls from Microsoft. You go there to the NuGet manage NuGet packages. And you have to install here the Universal uh, Microsoft Toolkit UWP UI controls. That's what you have to install. Go in there, browse, look for that, and install it. Then you will have this small uh, reference in there, which says, "Okay, now you're able to uh, to get those uh, elements." Now what we do here is, um, when you start working with that, you have to say something like this. Um, inside, you have to make a reference or namespace onto this uh, UI control. So you go there, uh, XML namespace controls, and then you say using the Microsoft Toolkit Universal w, uh, Universal Windows Platform UWP uh, UI controls. That's all what you have to switch block in there. And then uh, the trick will be, how is this done? Um, <coughs> you go in here, uh, you say controls grid splitter. That's what you embed there. And inside the grid splitter, you have the uh, controls double point uh, grid splitter dot element so inside the grid there's an element and the element is that what you see there this is the entire element and inside the element there's a small text block that's what you see in here this is the element that's the inner part the content and you have there the text block so there's a grid and inside the grid is a text block and these signs the text is those uh, two brackets or lines which you have in there um, is and it is hit test visible uh, false that I don't know why this is but you saw that it's working now you have the uh, following properties inside there you may set the resize behavior based on alignment. So this is those two, when you are in the middle, you will see that uh, the stuff goes around uh, from left and right. And you have here resize direction, either automatic or you say column in this size. So you have left, right, that's a moving direction. And now the point is you have to take your elements, um, for my in this case i said okay i have a grid and the grid has columns has two three columns three not two it has three you have inside here the first column on the left side has 200 and as a min width that's important that you say it said it as min width and the second one that's more important this is the gripper i especially named it so uh, some people normally you think what is the in, why are there are three columns the, the middle column is this one and that's why you may set the width on this on um, 22 pixel for example if you leave that out and think it's only first column and second column then uh, always that stuff doesn't work so set here this one to the width to the same width which you have here on your uh, block so this one is the same you may set here also to the width this small to the width on 22 pixel 
which is the same as this one. So you have the grip ar around there. And then the second, uh, the third one is is without any properties, no width, no, uh, no nothing. Uh, so this one and this one will adjust around. And then you have to say, okay, uh, you make a border, for example, in my case, I took a border with a left color. That's what you see here, the green color. And you also may set, say to have a border a background background on the uh, column two, column one, uh, beginning with zero, one, and there's a color, color background uh, is for, for example, Azure. Uh, and, there's, and this is on the third one. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is the uh, first one. This is cell one. And then this is this, this is the second one. So you have to say this is always on the second one. I will leave the code on my website because all other uh, examples were so difficult. So I couldn't follow and it was, I was looking now for several hours for a solution. And then you have the, this block finally below of that because you have to get, um, you have to get the visual elements above that. So it's always, it reads from top to down and then you have the elements uh, on the bottom. So uh, I will leave this, uh, the code on my website. That's uh, always the same. Let's see, there's it is on here on my website. I drop it in there and you will, will find this SAML code because all what you need here is the SAML code and you have to embed it, uh, the Microsoft Toolkit uh, from uh, the universal Windows uh, controls. These are much more uh, improved than the WinUI 3 um, developments at the moment.